Far too many lives have been upended because of failed approach to marijuana. And I'm committed to righting those wrongs. In a historic announcement, President Joe Biden says it is time for the feds to rethink how dangerous marijuana really is. His administration is downgrading cannabis in its drug classification. It's a monumental decision. It will impact a lot of areas of the legal marijuana industry in this country, and that includes here in our states. Griffin Rushton spoke with our local cannabis business leaders about how the changes could affect regulations and banking. It's a historic, uh, monumental policy shift in how the federal government treats cannabis, but it's kind of bittersweet, too. It, it doesn't go far enough. Ben Lewinger with the New Mexico Cannabis Chamber of Commerce says it's about time the feds catch up with the American people. We know that most Americans today want cannabis to be uh, to be legal, to be regulated similar to alcohol or to tobacco. But he says President Biden's plan to reschedule marijuana isn't doing that. Uh, it's kind of a giveaway to the to big pharma. Marijuana or cannabis is currently a schedule one drug. It's considered the worst of the worst alongside other drugs like heroin. The Biden administration wants to reclassify it as a schedule three drug, meaning it's still concerning, but there are some recognizable medical benefits. Schedule three includes pharmaceuticals like clonopin, like Tylenol with codeine, so still highly regulated pharmaceutical products. We do know that there will be immediate relief in the form of cannabis businesses not having to deal with 280E, which is an IRS tax code that applies only to Schedule 1 substances. What we don't know is whether or not being regulated by the FDA and the DEA would encumber additional costs. Lewinger admits this is uncharted territory for the cannabis industry. A spokesperson with the Cannabis Control Division says they are just beginning to digest the draft rule and figuring out how this will impact New Mexico's cannabis industry. But Lewinger says there are clues about what happens to Schedule 3 drugs. It presents a pharmaceutical model for states that have legalized cannabis. I think that having to have a prescription for cannabis uh, may not be off the table. I think that there's going to be lots of companies rushing to uh, develop IP to get trademarks on different cannabinoids. He predicts the change could also allow New Mexico to export cannabis products, potentially providing another boost to the booming industry. It's a really exciting time for our industry in New Mexico right now. Recreational sales topped $38 million last month, just shy of a record $39 million the month before. Lewinger says the rescheduling process could take years to complete. So don't expect any noticeable industry changes anytime soon. And he says, don't expect any more major shifts for a while. My feeling is that uh, shifting from schedule one to schedule three is actually going to put off real descheduling for another decade or, or even longer. In Albuquerque, Griffin Rushton, KOB4.